Imagine standing at the crossroads of time, where whispers of the past echo predictions that have left an indelible mark on history. Have you ever considered the sheer power of foresight? How a single prediction can ripple through time to alter the course of events? These are not mere coincidences or fantastical fables. These are remarkable instances that blend mystery with reality, challenging our understanding of what is possible. From the pages of old manuscripts to the visions of extraordinary minds, predictions have either served as warnings or unveiled the unimaginable. As you journey with us today, prepare to unravel 25 astonishing predictions that have surprisingly come true, transforming skeptics into believers. Each story beckons us to ponder not just the past, but to gaze into our future. What predictions might we encounter that could shape our lives, our world, in ways we have yet to conceive? Stay tuned and let your curiosity lead you through a tapestry woven with the threads of awe and wonder. Now turning to the sinking of the Titanic, a tragedy that wasn't purely unexpected if you consider the haunting foresight of author Morgan Robertson. In 1898, Robertson penned a novella titled Futility, or The Wreck of the Titan. This fictional tale eerily mirrored the real-life disaster of the Titanic, which occurred 14 years later in 1912. Robertson's Titan, much like the Titanic, was depicted as a massive, luxurious liner deemed unsinkable by its creators. Both vessels in their narratives met their doom by colliding with icebergs in the North Atlantic. The similarities don't end there. The Titan and the Titanic were nearly identical in size and speed, both carrying insufficient lifeboats for their passengers, contributing tragically to the high loss of life. Such a striking resemblance raises questions about coincidence and the limits of human foresight. Could Robertson's vision have served as a warning, perhaps a subconscious recognition of the hubris inherent in claims of invincibility? As we compare the striking visuals of the Titanic with Robertson's imagined scenes, we are reminded of the thin line between fiction and reality. This tale of two ships invites us to reflect on how literary imagination sometimes brushes unsettlingly close to future truth. Moving forward, let us explore yet another example of fiction foretelling reality, in which visionary imagination met historical destiny. Moving forward, let's journey to the imaginative world of Jules Verne, who astoundingly predicted humanity's leap to the moon over a century before it became reality. In his 1865 novel, From the Earth to the Moon, Verne envisioned details that would, much later, align with the Apollo lunar missions. He selected the state of Florida as the launch site, a choice that eerily mirrors the Cape Canaveral launches used by NASA. The novel described a spacecraft launched by a gigantic cannon, carrying a human crew of three astronauts, strikingly similar to the three-man crew of the Apollo missions. Verne also imagined the circle of the moon and back, a voyage that matches the actual lunar return journey undertaken by the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. These parallels are so precise that they challenge our understanding of where fiction ends and prophetic vision begins. As we visualize Verne's fictional scenes next to real Apollo mission footage, it becomes clear how his vivid imagination bore witness to the future. His whimsical yet precise storytelling not only entertained but foretold one of history's most monumental achievements. This uncanny alignment between Verne's narrative and the actual events inspires curiosity about how creative minds can sometimes glimpse paths we might later tread. As we marvel at this extraordinary intersection of fiction and history, let us now delve into another remarkable prediction that captivates with its eerie accuracy. As the next chapter unfolds, we turn our gaze to the visionary mind of H.G. Wells, whose novel The World Set Free, written in 1914, astonishingly foreshadowed the advent of atomic bombs. At a time when nuclear technology was yet to be conceived, Wells described weapons of unprecedented destructive power, essentially predicting a future where atomic warfare reshaped global society. 
In his narrative, Wells introduced the idea of artificial atomic energy being harnessed to create bombs that could obliterate entire cities. This chilling foresight, long before the atomic age, emphasizes the profound impact imaginative fiction can have on real-world innovation and scientific discovery. Wells' predictions extend beyond mere technological advancements, delving into the social and ethical ramifications of such overwhelming firepower. His insights reflect a world grappling with the potential for destruction on a scale never before imagined. The uncanny accuracy of Wells' vision leaves us pondering how creative speculation often mirrors future realities. As we consider the historical images of early atomic research and the catastrophic bombings that followed, we are reminded of the weighty influence of prophetic storytelling in shaping the course of human history. With this in mind, let us move forward to explore yet another incredible prediction that unveils intriguing foresight and a reflection of the future. Now turning to the imaginative realm of literature, we find ourselves in the creative world of Mark Twain, who envisioned a concept remarkably similar to the modern internet in his short story from the London Times of 1904. In this tale, Twain introduced the idea of the telelectroscope, a groundbreaking global communication network that remarkably resembles today's digital web. This fictional device enabled instant information exchange across great distances, foreseeing a world where knowledge and communication flowed freely and swiftly without barriers. Twain's foresight into such a network highlights his progressive thinking and the incredible insight he had into the possibilities of technology. His vision of the telelectroscope mirrors the capabilities of the Internet in connecting people worldwide, sharing data, and creating an interconnected society. As we explore these parallels, it becomes clear how Twain's imaginative storytelling has transcended the realm of fiction, offering a glimpse into the digital communication revolution we experience today. Such foresight into technological advancements showcases the profound influence authors can have through creative expression, inspiring generations to turn imaginative dreams into tangible reality. This forward-thinking narrative not only fascinates us with its prescience, but also encourages reflection on the limitless potential of human innovation. As we contemplate Twain's imagined drawings and contrast them with contemporary depictions of the Internet, we marvel at the enduring power of visionary storytelling to both predict and shape future realities. Moving forward, let us dive into another remarkable prediction that continues to illuminate the interplay between past insights and future developments. As the next chapter unfolds, we step into the chilling world depicted by George Orwell in his 1949 novel, 1984. Orwell's narrative envisioned an era of omnipresent surveillance and unrelenting control, encapsulated by the ominous figure of Big Brother. This fictional authority exerted power by watching its citizens' every move, ensuring that privacy was an illusion. Fast forward to today, and we discover unsettling parallels between this dystopian vision and our reality. Take, for instance, the pervasive use of closed-circuit television cameras and digital tracking systems that document our movements. These technologies, while providing safety and convenience, also raise significant concerns about data privacy and individual autonomy. Moreover, Orwell's portrayal of constant monitoring mirrors the growing anxieties over how personal information is collected, analyzed, and sometimes exploited. The parallels between his narrative and our current world serve as a powerful reminder of the potential consequences when surveillance technologies are not carefully regulated. As we consider the implications of Orwell's predictions, we're prompted to reflect on the fine line between security and liberty. Understanding the foresight of this historical prediction encourages us to question the impact of surveillance in our lives and the importance of safeguarding our freedoms. This contemplation invites us to take active roles in shaping policies that protect our privacy in an increasingly connected and monitored world. As the shadow of Orwell's predictions looms large over the present, 
we are reminded of the enduring relevance of such cautionary tales and their role in guiding societal evolution. With these insights in mind, we now transition to another astounding foresight that continues to shed light on the trajectory of human innovation and societal change. With the next phase of the journey in sight, we delve into the prophetic insights of philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein. In the early 20th century, Wittgenstein made comments that eerily anticipated the rise of a figure much like Adolf Hitler. He observed the troubling political and social undercurrents of his time, warning of a future dominated by divisive and authoritarian leaders. Wittgenstein's peers often recounted his discomfort with the growing nationalism and militarism in Europe, viewing it as a fertile ground for tyranny. His reflections were not mere speculation but stemmed from a deep understanding of human nature and societal patterns. One historical account describes Wittgenstein's forewarning about the widespread disillusionment and desperation that could lead to the ascendancy of a despotic regime. It's striking how his predictions align with the grim realities that emerged in Germany as Hitler's rise to power dramatically reshaped the world. The horror of totalitarianism that Wittgenstein seemed to anticipate serves as a stark reminder of the importance of vigilance against the forces of hatred and intolerance. His prescient words underscore the necessity of creating societies that prioritize empathy, inclusivity, and understanding. As we reflect on Wittgenstein's foresight, we're encouraged to identify the warning signs in our current world, ensuring history's darkest chapters aren't repeated. Moving forward, we'll explore another remarkable prediction that anticipated a global transformation in communication long before its time. Now turning to the foreboding quatrains of Nostradamus, we encounter one of history's most enigmatic figures renowned for his cryptic predictions. Among his prophecies lies a stirring line that seemingly foretold the Great Fire of London in 1666. In his quatrain, he wrote, The blood of the just will be demanded of London, burnt by fire in the year 66. These words, appearing centuries ago, have fascinated historians and enthusiasts who connect them to the catastrophic blaze that engulfed the city. The Great Fire, raging over four terrifying days, destroyed much of medieval London, leaving behind a traumatized population and vast destruction. While skeptics argue that the prophecy could be mere coincidence or a creative interpretation, the chilling accuracy with which Nostradamus captured this event is hard to dismiss. His writings, often shrouded in mystery, offer a compelling narrative that arouses the imagination, inviting us to ponder the possibility of foresight transcending time. Delving into this prediction, we reflect on its chilling resonance with the past and its unsettling reminder of how disaster can shape the course of history. As we unravel the layers of Nostradamus' words, another extraordinary prediction awaits that foresaw significant advancements in warfare, leading us into the technological forefront of conflict in the early 20th century. As the next chapter in our historical exploration unfolds, we encounter the remarkable foresight of Morgan Robertson, a name already steeped in intrigue due to his eerie premonition of the Titanic's fate. While Robertson is most known for his maritime prophecy, his visionary prowess didn't stop there. It extended into the realm of warfare, where he astonishingly anticipated many technological advancements that would come to define World War I. In his 1914 work titled Beyond the Spectrum, Robertson crafted a compelling narrative of futuristic warfare that closely mirrored the battles and innovations of the Great War. He described the militarization of air power with aircraft playing a pivotal role in reconnaissance and combat, concepts that materialized just a few years later. His tale included the use of chemical warfare, a grim reality that would become a hallmark of the trenches. The parallels between his speculative fiction and the actual technological strides made during the war are striking. Robertson's work serves as a haunting reminder of the accelerating pace of technological advancement and its profound impact on warfare. Through his imaginative lens, he offered a glimpse into a future marked by unprecedented destruction, 
urging us to consider the ethical implications of such innovations. As we delve into his prescient narrative, we're compelled to reflect on the ways these advancements have shaped the modern battlefield, setting the stage for discussions on how technology continues to redefine conflict. Moving forward, we delve into the fascinating intersection of history and mythology with an exploration of the Mahabharata, an ancient Indian epic that some scholars argue contains descriptions that eerily resemble modern nuclear explosions. This text, dating back thousands of years, recounts vivid scenes of catastrophic destruction with a depth that has led many to speculate about its prophetic nature. One particular passage describes a weapon wielded by the hero Krishna, known as the Brahmastra, which unleashes a devastating force akin to an atomic explosion, reducing entire cities to ashes and leaving survivors in despair. Such narratives brimming with dramatic imagery have sparked debates among historians and scientists alike, pondering whether these stories are purely fantastical or perhaps echoes of ancient advanced technology. If interpreted through a modern lens, these descriptions present intriguing implications not only about the times in which they were conceived, but also about the potential foresight regarding the destructive power of nuclear weapons. This raises profound questions about the past and future of technological advancement and its impact on humanity. By comparing illustrations from ancient texts with images of modern nuclear detonations, we can observe striking similarities that continue to fuel the debate. Such analysis invites us to reflect on the enduring human fascination with powerful weapons and the cautionary tales that accompany them, reminding us of the timeless lessons these ancient stories offer in our pursuit of progress. As we sift through these historical narratives, we gain insight into the mysteries of past civilizations and their remarkable, though sometimes unsettling, visions of the future. Now turning to the insightful observations of Alexis de Tocqueville, we explore his groundbreaking work, Democracy in America, written in the early 19th century, which foresaw the growing societal and political divisions still evident today. Tocqueville meticulously analyzed the democratic framework of the United States, highlighting potential vulnerabilities and inherent contradictions. He anticipated the influence of individualism and materialism on social cohesion, warning that these forces could lead to fragmentation within society. His foresights extend to the polarization of political discourse, a phenomenon we witness in contemporary society, where ideological divides seem sharper than ever. Tocqueville's ability to predict these divisions stemmed from his deep understanding of human nature and the dynamics of governance. His writings serve as a poignant reminder of the challenges democracy faces in balancing freedom with equality a struggle that continues to shape the social and political landscapes worldwide. By juxtaposing his insightful predictions with present-day scenes of political debate, we can appreciate the enduring relevance of his work. His visionary insights encourage us to reflect on how history's lessons can guide us in bridging gaps and fostering unity amidst diversity. Such contemplation is crucial in navigating the complexities of modern governance and ensuring that democratic ideals thrive for future generations. As Tocqueville's observations come to life in today's world, they invite us to examine our role in safeguarding democracy's resilience against the ever-present threat of division. As the next chapter of historical insights unfolds, we delve into the remarkable foresight of Napoleon Bonaparte who in the 19th century made a striking prediction about China. Napoleon famously remarked, China is a sleeping giant. Let her sleep, for when she wakes, she will shake the world. At the time, China was largely isolated from Western influence, its vast potential untapped on the global stage. Napoleon understood the latent capabilities of this vast nation, foreseeing its eventual rise as a formidable power, Fast forward to the 21st century and we witness how prescient his words were. China's transformation has been nothing short of extraordinary. 
In just a few decades, it has evolved from an agrarian society into a global economic powerhouse, reshaping international trade, innovation, and politics. This rise is not merely economic, but also cultural and technological, impacting global supply chains and geopolitical strategies. From rapid urbanization to becoming a leader in technology and renewable energy, China's influence is undeniable. The international community now closely watches China's actions, recognizing its central role in addressing global challenges like climate change and economic stability. By examining historical maps alongside modern illustrations of China's expansive influence, we appreciate the profound accuracy of Napoleon's foresight. His words resonate today as we see the ripple effects of China's awakening, influencing everything from global markets to diplomatic alliances. Napoleon's prediction encourages us to consider the long-term vision required to anticipate and navigate future geopolitical shifts. As we continue to observe China's trajectory, the importance of understanding history's lessons becomes ever clearer, underscoring the need for strategic foresight in shaping a harmonious global future. Now turning to the visionary realm of Isaac Asimov, we find ourselves exploring a realm that seemed purely fictional in the mid-20th century but is now part of our everyday lives. Asimov, a prolific science fiction writer, crafted a world where robots were integral to human society, predicting the rise of robotics and artificial intelligence with astonishing accuracy. His stories were set in futures where robots performed a multitude of tasks, living alongside humans, and he ingeniously proposed guidelines for their operation known as the Three Laws of Robotics. These laws were designed to prevent robots from causing harm and to ensure their obedience to human commands, reflecting a deep understanding of the potential challenges posed by artificial intelligence. Today, these fictional laws influence real-world AI ethics, prompting discussions about autonomy, safety, and responsibility. Asimov's foresight is evident as we witness rapid advances in robotics machines that not only perform repetitive tasks but also learn and adapt. Modern AI-powered robots are revolutionizing industries from manufacturing to healthcare, and they continue to challenge our ethical frameworks. Early robotic designs envisioned by Asimov with mechanical limbs and simplistic logic have evolved into sophisticated algorithms and humanoid figures capable of complex thought processes. This transformation illustrates the seamless blend of science fiction and reality, where Asimov's speculative narratives guide present-day innovations. His visionary predictions challenge us to consider the future of human-robot interaction and the ethical implications of ever-evolving technology. As each new development unfolds, we recognize the profound impact of Asimov's work, reminding us of the importance of ethical foresight as we navigate the frontier of artificial intelligence. As the next challenge unfolds, we delve into the prophetic insights of Alexander Solzhenitsyn, a profound voice of dissent during the Cold War era. His writings, often critical of the Soviet regime, contained eerie foresights about its eventual collapse. Solzhenitsyn's acute observations and unyielding belief in the power of truth painted a picture of a society struggling under the weight of its own contradictions. He foresaw the unsustainable nature of Soviet policies and the mounting pressures from both within and outside its borders, a prediction that seemed improbable at the height of its power. His works like The Gulag Archipelago underscored the systemic flaws and moral decay entrenched in the Soviet system, offering a candid exploration of life under totalitarian rule. Solzhenitsyn's foresight was not merely based on political analysis but steeped in a deep understanding of human nature and the inevitable quest for freedom. His words resonated with a sense of urgency and clarity that transcended his immediate context, reaching audiences worldwide and igniting discussions about the inherent limitations of oppressive regimes. As history unfolded, the Soviet Union did indeed unravel, 
driven by economic stagnation, political reform, and the irrepressible demands for autonomy across its republics. Solzhenitsyn's predictions became a stark reality, and his works remain a testament to the power of the written word in challenging and ultimately changing the course of history. Through the lens of his narrative, we gain insight into the complexities of political systems and the enduring human spirit's quest for justice and liberty. His legacy serves as a powerful reminder of the impact of courage and conviction in the face of overwhelming odds, prompting us to reflect on the lessons from this pivotal chapter in history and its relevance to modern geopolitical dynamics. Now turning to the remarkable foresight of Percival Lowell, we explore how his early 20th century predictions about a mysterious ninth planet led to the monumental discovery of Pluto in 1930. Lowell, an esteemed American astronomer, was driven by his calculations and observations that suggested the presence of an unknown celestial body influencing the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. His relentless pursuit of this enigmatic planet involved extensive research and a series of calculations that laid the groundwork for future astronomers. Despite passing away in 1916, Lowell's legacy endured as his theories continued to inspire the astronomical community. In 1930, Clyde Tombaugh, working at the observatory Lowell founded, confirmed the existence of this distant planet. This discovery not only validated Lowell's predictions, but also marked a significant milestone in our understanding of the solar system. His calculations, though not entirely accurate in pinpointing Pluto's location, were instrumental in establishing the methods for planetary discovery and advancing astronomical research. Lowell's vision exemplifies the enduring impact of scientific inquiry and the relentless curiosity that propels us to explore the cosmos. His work reminds us of the importance of perseverance and innovation in unraveling the mysteries of the universe, inspiring future generations to look beyond the known and venture into the unknown. Moving forward, we delve into another prediction that reshaped our world, highlighting the intricate tapestry of foresight that continues to influence our understanding of history and science. Moving forward, let's explore the intriguing foresight of economist Roger Babson, who stunningly predicted the stock market crash of 1929. Babson, who was deeply engaged in the study of economic cycles, believed that the financial market was inherently prone to periods of boom and bust. His analysis led him to warn investors and the general public well in advance, famously stating that a severe crash was imminent due to the unsustainable economic practices of the time. Babson's predictions were initially met with skepticism, as the market seemed to be in a relentless upward trajectory. However, his warnings became a reality on that fateful day in October 1929, when the market plummeted, leading to widespread economic devastation. This crash not only confirmed Babson's warnings, but also changed financial thinking, urging economists and investors to consider the implications of economic cycles more seriously. His insights emphasized the importance of vigilance and preparedness in financial strategies. Babson's foresight highlighted the need for a more comprehensive approach to economic analysis, setting the stage for future studies and policies that aim to mitigate such catastrophic occurrences. His legacy persists in the financial world, reminding us of the critical importance of understanding and anticipating economic trends. As we reflect on these lessons from history, we turn now to another fascinating prediction that has shaped our understanding of past and present worlds, continuing our journey through the annals of surprising historical foresight. Now turning to the enigmatic realm of psychic predictions, we delve into the intriguing case of Edgar Case, a man often referred to as the Sleeping Prophet. Renowned for his trance-like readings, Case made numerous predictions, among which were startlingly accurate foretellings of both World War I and World War II. During his sessions, Case spoke of global conflicts that eerily matched the timelines and some events of these devastating wars. 
He described widespread destruction and upheaval and foresaw the shifting alliances and power dynamics that would reshape the world. These predictions came years before the conflicts began, astonishingly capturing the essence of the challenges that would arise. Many dismissed his insights as far-fetched, yet the unfolding events lent unexpected credibility to his visions. Edgar Cayce's forecasts have sparked debates about the possible connection between intuition and future events, challenging the boundaries of what we understand about precognition. His unique ability to seemingly see beyond the present has left a lasting legacy, inspiring curiosity about whether our minds can truly tap into foresight beyond the rational. As we contemplate Case's remarkable insights, we continue journeying through the tapestry of astonishing historical predictions, each offering a glimpse into the mysteries that have shaped our world. With the next phase of the journey in sight, we delve into the prescient world envisioned by Aldous Huxley in his renowned work, Brave New World. Published in the early 20th century, this novel painted a future where genetic engineering and societal control were the norms, long before such concepts entered scientific reality. Today, as genetic engineering and biotechnology rapidly advance, Huxley's futuristic vision resonates with remarkable clarity. In Brave New World, society is meticulously stratified, with individuals genetically tailored to fit predetermined roles, raising profound ethical questions that we still grapple with today. Should humanity harness such power when the potential for misuse is vast, the precision of Huxley's predictions prompts us to consider if our technological progress has outpaced our ethical development. As we edit genes and explore new biotechnologies, the responsibility to ensure these innovations serve the greater good becomes ever more pressing. The philosophical dilemmas posed by Huxley remain relevant in our ongoing dialogue about the intersection of technology, ethics, and human nature. His narrative challenges us to reflect on our path, urging a balance between progress and the preservation of fundamental human values, this foresight into genetic manipulation and its societal impacts demonstrates the enduring power of speculative fiction in prompting critical reflection on our trajectory. As we move forward, the questions Huxley raised serve as a critical reminder of the complexities and responsibilities that accompany our technological quests. As the sun rises on the next chapter, we turn our attention to the remarkable genius of Nikola Tesla, a man whose vision of wireless technology has left an indelible mark on the world. In the early 20th century, Tesla's imagination soared to new heights as he anticipated a future where radio waves would form the backbone of long-distance communication. Envisioning a world where information could traverse vast distances without the need for wires, Tesla foresaw the development of technology that today forms the core of our digital lives. His groundbreaking work laid the foundations for innovations ranging from radio and television to the cellular networks that connect us globally. Tesla's predictions were not mere abstractions but detailed blueprints of technological marvels. He described concepts akin to what we now recognize as mobile phones and wireless internet decades before they would materialize. As we hold our smartphones and tablets, we carry a piece of Tesla's legacy, a testament to his extraordinary foresight. His ideas have not only transformed how we communicate, but have also shaped the very infrastructure of our society. Tesla's visionary thinking invites us to ponder the limitless possibilities of human ingenuity when combined with the relentless pursuit of understanding and innovation. As we continue to harness the power of wireless technology, Tesla's insights remind us of the incredible potential that lies in envisioning the impossible and working tirelessly to make it a reality. As the next challenge unfolds, we delve into the intriguing world of psychic predictions with Gene Dixon, an American astrologer whose foresight into global events has sparked both fascination and debate. Known for her bold and sometimes controversial predictions, Dixon gained notoriety for her vision of a significant conflict arising in the Persian Gulf during the late 20th century. This prediction came at a time when tensions were simmering in the region, 
Yet few could have foreseen the magnitude and impact of what would later be known as the Gulf War. Dixon's premonition included vivid descriptions of military conflict and political strife, mirroring the reality that unfolded as nations collided over intricate geopolitical interests. Her prediction was so strikingly accurate that it led to heightened interest in her abilities, raising questions about the nature of foresight and its place in understanding global dynamics. Yet, while some remained skeptical of psychic visions, Dixon's anticipation of the Gulf War serves as a compelling case of prediction aligning with historical events. This foresight invites reflection on how intuitive insights can sometimes intersect with the unfolding of history, prompting us to consider the possible interplay between human perception and future realities. As we examine period maps of the Gulf region and footage that captures the conflict's progression, Dixon's prediction stands as a powerful reminder of the unpredictable and often astonishing nature of historical events. Her vision, whether seen as prophecy or coincidence, remains a profound example of the extraordinary realm of predictions that defy easy explanation. Now turning to our next exploration, we consider another fascinating prediction that echoes through history. Moving forward, let's delve into the insightful world of Richard Feynman, a renowned physicist whose sharp analytical mind spotted potential flaws in the Space Shuttle Challenger long before its tragic explosion in 1986. Known for his role in quantum mechanics, Feynman brought his rigorous scientific approach to the investigation of the Challenger disaster, highlighting critical issues that were previously overlooked. In the frigid morning of January 28, 1986, just moments after launch, the Challenger disintegrated, leaving the nation in shock and mourning. Feynman's foresight about the shuttle's vulnerabilities was rooted in meticulous examination and a steadfast commitment to safety in engineering. He famously demonstrated how the O-rings, responsible for sealing joints, became brittle in cold temperatures. This fundamental flaw, he argued, posed a serious risk to the shuttle's integrity. Despite Feynman's clear warning, his concerns were not given the attention they deserved at the time, overshadowed by the pressures of maintaining an ambitious space schedule. His persistence in emphasizing the importance of thorough testing and engineering rigor serves as a poignant lesson in the necessity of listening to expert warnings, especially when lives are at stake. Through detailed investigations and public demonstrations, Feynman shed light on the technical failings that culminated in the Challenger tragedy. His work not only underscored the importance of transparent investigations, but also helped foster a culture of safety that would eventually shape NASA future missions. As we review footage from that fateful launch and Feynman's meticulous investigations, his passion for scientific accuracy and relentless pursuit of truth remind us of the crucial role of foresight and caution in advancing human endeavors safely. Such insights transcend beyond engineering, inviting us to consider the broader implications of listening to expert advice and being vigilant about potential risks in all facets of life. Now turning to the visionary insights of Vannevar Bush, we explore his groundbreaking 1945 essay, As We May Think. In this remarkable work, Bush offered a glimpse into a future interconnected by a web-like system that bears a striking resemblance to what we now know as the Internet. Bush imagined a world where information could be stored, retrieved, and shared effortlessly across vast networks, a concept that has become integral to our daily lives. His vision was a precursor to the digital information revolution, influencing how we think about data storage and accessibility today. Bush's idea of the Memex, a personal device capable of storing books, records and communications, foreshadowed modern computers and the Internet's capability to connect people and information globally. His foresight not only sparked curiosity, but also laid the groundwork for future technological advancements in information science, offering a blueprint for how we navigate the digital realm today. As we examine Bush's visionary concepts alongside current digital technology, 
we see a testament to the power of foresight in shaping the course of human innovation and connectivity. His work encourages us to envision future possibilities and challenges us to continue pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve through technology. With this profound understanding of Bush's influence, we turn our attention to how technological predictions continue to shape our world, constantly evolving the landscape of human interaction and information exchange. Moving forward, we delve into the foresight of Victor Hugo, an esteemed figure who was not just a literary giant but also a visionary thinker. In the 1900s, Hugo shared a remarkable vision of a United States of Europe, aspiring towards a continent united by peace and cooperation. This concept, bold for its time, mirrors the current structure of the European Union. Today's EU stands as a testament to Hugo's insight, showcasing how nations can transcend past conflicts to work collaboratively for mutual prosperity and stability. The European Union embodies his dream, with member states sharing economic policies and striving toward common goals, thus fostering an unprecedented level of unity. Such a political and economic alliance was unimaginable in Hugo's era, yet his imagination paved the way for envisioning a Europe where borders serve less as barriers and more as bridges for cultural exchange and economic cooperation. Hugo's vision highlighted the potential for collective strength through unity, reflecting ideas that resonate in the EU's ongoing efforts to harmonize laws, protect human rights, and promote free movement among member countries. As we reflect on Hugo's prediction, we recognize not just the tangible structures of the European Union, but also the symbolic achievement of peace and unity that it represents in the modern world. This vision challenges us to continue seeking innovative ways to enhance global cooperation and harmony. With these reflections on Hugo's foresight, we now turn our attention to the next intriguing historical prediction that surprisingly came true exploring further how visionary minds have shaped our present and continue to influence our future. Now turning to the next captivating historical prediction, we find ourselves drawn into the enigmatic world of Sam Clemens, better known as Mark Twain. Renowned for his wit and literary prowess, Twain is rumored to have had a premonition concerning the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. While the authenticity of these claims remains a subject of debate, their very existence adds a layer of intrigue to the historical narrative. Imagine the whispers and speculation as news of Lincoln's tragic death spread across the nation, with tales of Twain's for knowledge swirling in the background. These rumors, whether true or not, underscore the broader cultural fascination with prophecy and the unknown. As we explore this fascinating connection, we are reminded of the power of narrative in shaping our understanding of history. Visualizing the period imagery of the 19th century and the solemn artifacts related to Lincoln, we gain a richer appreciation of the era's complexity and the symbolic weight of its events. This narrative intertwines the realms of history and folklore, prompting us to ponder the thin line between coincidence and clairvoyance, as we reflect on Twain's alleged foresight, we pause to consider how stories like these resonate through time, echoing in the corridors of our collective memory. With this exploration of Twain's rumored prediction, we prepare to delve into yet another astonishing historical insight that connects the past with our contemporary world, highlighting the enduring impact of visionary thinking on our shared journey. With the next phase of the journey in sight, we turn our attention to the legendary musician David Bowie, whose 1987 performance near the Berlin Wall is often credited with foretelling its eventual fall. Bowie's music, renowned for its depth and social commentary, became a powerful tool for change during a time of profound political tension. The atmosphere in Berlin was charged as his performance echoed through a divided city, infusing the air with both defiance and hope. Imagine being part of the crowd, feeling the unity and energy that transcended physical barriers. Bowie's lyrics resonated deeply with those yearning for freedom, amplifying the voices of many who longed for change. 
As history unfolded just two years later, the Berlin Wall fell, marking a pivotal moment in the collapse of the Cold War divisions. This remarkable convergence of art and politics underscores the influence of cultural figures in driving societal transformation. By revisiting footage from Bowie's concert alongside scenes from the fall of the wall, we gain a profound understanding of how creativity can ignite revolution. Bowie's legacy, immortalized in this symbolic event, continues to inspire generations by reminding us of the power of music as a catalyst for unity and change. As we reflect on this captivating prediction, it becomes clear how pivotal moments in history can often be presaged by the creative voices of their time, bridging the gap between possibility and reality. Moving forward, we delve into the profound impact of Nelson Mandela and his unwavering vision of a South Africa liberated from the shackles of apartheid. Throughout his imprisonment, Mandela's resilience and foresight were nothing short of remarkable, as he often spoke of a future where equality and justice would prevail over oppression. His predictions were not mere dreams, but a meticulously strategized vision that he tirelessly worked towards, even from behind bars. Mandela's leadership was instrumental in dismantling the apartheid regime, a system rooted in racial segregation and inequality. His ability to negotiate and unify diverse groups paved the way for a peaceful transition of power, ultimately contributing to the birth of a democratic South Africa. The significance of Mandela's foresight is seen not only in the political landscape of the nation, but also in its social fabric, fostering a spirit of reconciliation and hope. Archival footage of Mandela's powerful speeches and the jubilant celebration of apartheid's end paints a vivid picture of this monumental achievement. These moments capture the essence of a leader whose predictions transcended idealism, becoming a beacon of transformative change. Mandela's enduring legacy serves as a testament to the power of vision and perseverance in rewriting history, inspiring countless individuals to envision and strive for a world that embodies fairness and dignity for all. As we reflect on Mandela's legacy, it highlights the profound impact visionary leadership can have on shaping societies and altering the course of history reminding us that even the most entrenched systems can be overcome with courage and conviction. With the next phase of the journey in sight, we delve deeper into Nelson Mandela's visionary leadership, exploring how his predictions not only inspired but strategically guided South Africa through its precarious transition. Mandela's leadership was marked by an extraordinary ability to see past the immediate struggles, envisioning a harmonious future that many thought impossible. His strategic acumen was crucial in the delicate negotiations that led to the dismantling of apartheid. He understood the importance of fostering trust across deeply divided communities, using dialogue as a tool to bridge gaps. Mandela often shared personal stories from his life to connect with others, drawing from his own experiences of hardship and resilience to build empathy and understanding. These anecdotes not only humanized him as a leader, but also underscored his commitment to reconciliation. One notable story was his insistence on donning the Springbok rugby jersey during the 1995 World Cup, a powerful gesture that symbolized unity and forgiveness in a nation still healing from apartheid scars. Such acts were not mere gestures but calculated moves to cement bonds among all South Africans, transcending racial divisions. Mandela's foresight in embracing former adversaries into the new government showcased his belief in inclusivity as a cornerstone for lasting peace. His emphasis on education as a vehicle for empowerment further demonstrated his dedication to nurturing future generations who could carry forward his dream of equality. These elements of Mandela's leadership exemplify how his predictions were not just aspirations, but also a strategic framework that laid the foundation for a united, democratic South Africa. His pioneering vision remains a guiding light for current and future leaders worldwide, 
reminding us of the enduring power of courage, empathy, and strategic foresight in overcoming seemingly insurmountable challenges. As the sun rises on the next chapter, we explore the Berlin Wall's global impact, a momentous event that rippled far beyond Germany's borders. The Wall's fall marked not only the physical reunification of East and West Germany, but also symbolized the ideological victory of democracy over authoritarianism. This pivotal moment resonated through Cold War politics, signaling the waning influence of the Soviet Union and inspiring Eastern European nations to pursue their independence. Countries like Poland, Czechoslovakia and Hungary, emboldened by this shift, accelerated their own paths toward democracy and closer ties with Western Europe. The collapse of the Berlin Wall also laid the groundwork for European integration, paving the way for the expansion of the European Union. It fostered a renewed sense of unity, encouraging former adversaries to collaborate for a prosperous, stable Europe. This period saw geopolitical landscapes dramatically redefined, with newly independent states seeking to carve out their place in the global community. The Wall's fall triggered a series of democratic revolutions across Eastern Europe, collectively known as the Velvet Revolution, as citizens demanded political and economic reforms. Globally, this shift in Europe had implications that reached the United States and beyond, influencing international relations and redefining alliances. The fall of the Berlin Wall remains a testament to the power of collective action and the enduring human spirit's quest for freedom and equality. As we reflect on this monumental event, it is crucial to recognize its lasting impact on modern geopolitics and the inspiration it continues to provide for those striving for liberty around the world. This historic moment serves as a reminder of the profound changes that can be achieved when people come together with shared resolve, dreaming of a better future. With the next phase of the journey in sight, we delve into the lasting legacy of Abraham Lincoln and the mysterious premonitions surrounding his tragic end. Beyond Mark Twain's rumored forewarning, several other historical figures claim to have foreseen Lincoln's assassination, adding an air of intrigue to an already enigmatic event. Lincoln, revered for his steadfast leadership during the American Civil War and his unwavering commitment to abolishing slavery, left an indelible mark on the nation. The loss of such a pivotal leader sent shockwaves through American society, altering the course of political history and shaping the nation's future discourse. Lincoln's visionary speeches and heartfelt letters remain a testament to his profound influence reflecting his deep understanding of human rights and equality. His Gettysburg Address and the Emancipation Proclamation continue to inspire generations, underscoring his pivotal role in steering the nation toward unity and freedom. As we examine the cultural reflections on his presidency, it becomes evident that Lincoln's legacy extends far beyond his life, resonating within the fabric of American identity. His assassination, a devastating blow to the nation, sparked conversations about the fragility of leadership and the enduring impact of visionary governance. The societal ramifications of his loss were profound, prompting a re-evaluation of leadership and governance in the United States. Lincoln's legacy, a beacon of hope and resilience, endures as a cornerstone of American history continually inspiring those who seek to uphold the values of justice and unity. As we reflect on his life and the mysterious predictions of his untimely end, we are reminded of the enduring power of visionary leadership in shaping the course of history and the timeless quest for equality and justice. As the sun rises on the next chapter, we explore the intriguing evolution of the European Union a testament to Victor Hugo's foresight of a United States of Europe. Hugo envisioned a unified continent where peace and collaboration transcended historical enmities. This vision began to materialize with the formation of the European coal and steel community in the mid-20th century, a pivotal milestone that laid the groundwork for economic integration. 
As political alliances strengthened, the Treaty of Rome in 1957 marked the birth of the European Economic Community, further solidifying the bonds between European nations. Over the decades, these foundational treaties evolved into the Maastricht Treaty of 1992, officially establishing the European Union and introducing a single currency. Alongside these economic milestones, social and political shifts have continually redefined the EU landscape. The Schengen Agreement, for instance, eliminated internal borders, promoting free movement and cultural exchange among member states. This unity has been further challenged and fortified by events such as the enlargement to include Central and Eastern European countries in the early 2000s, reflecting the EU's ability to adapt and expand its ideals of democracy and cooperation. More recently, the European Union has navigated complex terrain, from economic crises to debates on sovereignty, exemplified by Brexit, Yet through these trials, the core tenets of unity and collaboration remain steadfast, echoing Hugo's dream of a united Europe. The European Union today stands as a dynamic political entity, continuously reshaping its role on the global stage. From economic resilience to humanitarian efforts, its actions underscore the enduring impact of Hugo's vision. The journey of the European Union is a powerful reminder of the transformative potential of collective aspirations, highlighting how visionary predictions can lay the groundwork for future realities. As we continue this fascinating exploration, the evolution of the European Union serves as a testament to the enduring influence of historical predictions on contemporary global landscapes. Now turning to the intriguing development of the Internet, we delve into the visionary mind of Vannevar Bush, whose ideas have profoundly shaped our digital age. In his 1945 essay, As We May Think, Bush introduced the concept of the Memex, a theoretical proto-hyperlink system that sought to organize the vast amounts of human knowledge. This imaginative device laid the groundwork for what we now recognize as the Internet, influencing the development of today's web-like information systems. Bush envisioned a future where data could be easily stored, accessed, and linked, concepts that directly inspired the digital protocols foundational to our modern Internet architecture. One of the significant parallels between Bush's vision and our current digital age is the notion of non-linear information retrieval. This idea, once merely theoretical, now underpins the very structure of the Internet, allowing users worldwide to seamlessly navigate an ever-expanding web of interconnected content. His foresight extended beyond basic connectivity, anticipating a global shift towards digital information democratization. As the timeline of technological milestones unfolds, we see the advent of the World Wide Web in the 1990s, a pivotal leap that brought Bush's theories to life through practical application. The web facilitated unprecedented levels of information exchange and connectivity, forever transforming how we communicate, learn, and share knowledge. These advancements echo the essence of Bush's predictions, illustrating how his foundational ideas continue to steer technological innovation and growth. Moving forward through the decades, from the development of the hypertext transfer protocol to the rise of social media platforms and cloud computing, the Internet has evolved into a profound global force. Each leap in technology reaffirms Bush's influence, manifesting his visionary concepts in ways he could scarcely have imagined. As we reflect on this journey, Vannevar Bush's legacy illustrates the power of forward-thinking imagination, showing how visionary ideas can ignite transformative shifts in society. As we conclude our exploration of these remarkable predictions, it's clear that these moments in history offer more than just amazement. They reveal a fascinating intersection of foresight and reality that has captivated both historians and the general public alike. By examining how these predictions have unfolded, we're reminded of the enduring power of visionary thinking and its potential to inspire and transform our understanding of the world. 
These instances are not merely coincidences but are testaments to the profound impact that imagination and insight can have across time and generations. As we ponder the predictions that might come to fruition in our own lifetimes, we invite you to consider how foresight can be a driving force in your personal journey and in shaping a shared future. We encourage you to share in the comments any predictions you know of that have come true or those you believe might yet unfold. Let this be a space for curiosity and discovery as we collectively reflect on the role of prediction in navigating the complexities and wonders of our ever-evolving world. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the past and the possibilities of the future.